Some of the most common formulas you're going to see um, throughout your algebra career are ones that look like the two that we see in front of us. So when you have x and y and you want to solve specifically for y, that's going to be something you'll do a lot. And you'll even do it some at the end of this chapter. So let's uh, practice that a little here. So we have 3x plus 4y equals 12. So remember that we are treating x like it's just a number, right? And so if it helps you on the side here, you could plug in a fake number for x, like you could pretend it's a one, right? So then your formula would look like this, right? Let me draw a line here to designate this is, this is not real over here, but just helping us out. You know, so what would you do here? First, we'll definitely subtract three first. So that means that over here, you should definitely subtract 3x first. So we have 4y equals 12 minus 3x. And then, of course, the last thing to do is divide by 4. So we'll do that. And we're dividing everything on this side of the equation by 4. Now, if you leave your answer this way, at this point, that's okay. But I want us to get in the habit of doing things like you're going to want to do them um, in your subsequent algebra classes. So usually in a situation where you have a formula that looks like this and you're solving for y, you are going to want distinct terms um, instead of having a couple of terms divided by the same number. So what we're going to do here is we're going to separate this as 12 over 4 minus 3x over 4. And what's giving me permission to do that is uh, just think of adding two fractions, right? So if I have 1 fifth plus 2 fifths, I know that that is, ends up being 1 plus 2 over 5, right? Which is just 3 fifths. So you know, we're used to doing this, combining into a single fraction, but we can do the opposite. So if you have two things added together over the same denominator, you can just separate those numerators just like this. And that's all we've done right here. So, of course, 12 over 4 is 3. And then instead of 3x over 4, again, this is still correct, uh, but you can also write 3 fourths x. Okay, because basically the idea is 3 times x over 4 is the same as 3 fourths times x. And so again, it's just nice to write it this way because it'll be the most useful way to write it as you continue on in algebra. All right, let's take a look at this example. We have 2x minus y equals 5. So of course I'm going to subtract 2x first. So we have negative y equals negative 2x plus 5. Okay. Now, sometimes this throws people for a loop, but just remember, what is a negative y? That's the same as negative 1 times y. So what would you do to get rid of negative 1? Well, you could multiply both sides by negative 1. You could divide both sides by negative 1. It doesn't really matter. Um, I guess I'll divide by negative 1. That's fine. And so I just have y on the left side, and then I can put negative 1 under each term individually. And so I get y equals negative 2 divided by negative 1 is, of course, just 2. And then 5 divided by negative 1 is negative 5. So instead of writing plus negative 5, I'm just going to write minus 5. So I solve for y in both of these formulas.